Today we're going to learn a disc golf throw called the Heiser throw. This throw is important in disc golf to get the, this disc around any sort of obstacle in your way. This might be a tree or a bush. So we're just going to start talking about your grip. It's going to be the same grip that you're going to use. You're going to have three fingers on the bottom or two fingers, whatever you feel comfortable. I use three. And then you're going to have your one thumb on top. This is important in keeping your disc stable so it doesn't wobble as you're throwing it. So as you're throwing it, the hyzer throw is important to pay attention to the angle of your disc as well as your throwing motion. So those are the two things you're gonna to wanna to change in using the hyzer throw. So it's gonna be the normal setup. You're gonna be sideways with your side towards your target like this, and you're gonna want a little step with your front foot can't really see it in the video, but we'll see that in the throwing uh, examples that we have after this. And you're just gonna step with your front foot and you're gonna make sure your disc is tilted downwards as you're throwing it to get that angle. And then as you're stepping, you're keeping that disc downwards and you're going down and then up. This will get that angle so it goes around whatever obstacles in your way and then it'll, it will get you to the goal that we're aiming for. So remember, you're going to keep your side sideways like a normal throw, step, have a little bend in your waist, keep the disc bent downwards, and you're coming low, and then up. As you guys watch these videos, I want you guys to keep in mind a few things. Watch the throwing motion of each thrower, and make sure that they're going from low to high. And also pay attention to the angle of the disc, although it might be hard to see, you can kind of tell who's keeping it more flat and then their angle of their throw goes more straight and who's keeping it more tilted downwards and then their angle goes more from left to right or right to left. As you can see there, that was our left-handed thrower and his angles go from left to right because of him being a lefty and then our other throwers are right-handed so there go, their throws go right to left. Here's an example of a thrower that struggled with the hyzer throw and I think a few of the things that she could have fixed there were the angle of the disc it was kept flat and then she could have kept her follow through and stepped through the throw a little bit better so I want you guys to just remember a few things when you guys are going to complete your guys's hyzer throws on the disc golf course you always want to keep your feet sideways with your shoulders pointed towards your target have a slight bend in your waist and step with your lead foot 